Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Buck Parker. I am a board certified general surgeon. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to decide to go to medical school or not. So I get a lot of questions about this all the time on my Instagram or just YouTube. If you're in high school or college, people ask me all the time, how do I decide? I think I wanna to go to med school, but maybe I have these you know, issues like Maybe I did crappy in school for you know a few years. I took the MCAT and I did really poor on the MCAT. Um, should I decide to continue to pursue medicine even though you know I have these issues? You know me, you know my story. Um, if you don't know me, my quick story is I did crappy in the first couple of years of college. I didn't do great on a, the MCAT. I went to a Caribbean medical school. I went from a Caribbean medical school, got some rotations in the States. Uh, as basically an IMG, and then I got a, re a residency in general surgery. Uh, now I'm a general surgeon, been a general surgeon for like four, uh, seven years. Oh, it goes fast. So that's kind of my quick story. I, I, had, I made a lot of those mistakes, and then I continued to pursue medicine. Um, so that's why people ask me this a lot, and that's why I want to talk about it. So first before, I have a little tool for you to decide, and it's, yeah, it's a really, really neat little tool, but first I want to go over what you know influences you, how did you, you know, how were you exposed to maybe going to medicine, into medicine? I'll tell you that really it's the mentors. And so for me, I had like a family friend who was a doctor I really respected. Um, and that's kind of what sparked my interest. Oh, there's a couple other things too, but that's kind of what kept me going. And then in medical school, uh, I decided kind of what path I was gonna take based on, th there's a couple of surgeons that I really respected and I thought were really cool. And so that's what generally, you know, people do is they have some sort of a mentor or an inspiration and they go into that field. Well, my point of this is you should really pay attention to whether that matches up with the, with your, the rest of your life and it matches up with your skill set, right? Because if you're, if you really like basketball and you are like Kobe Bryant's my inspiration, but you're five foot two, like you're not going to play professional basketball. So. You know, that, that is something that you need to pay attention to. There's another guy, Ty Lopez, or I listen to a lot. He's actually, you can find him on YouTube a lot and he's got some ridiculous videos, but he has some good insights. And one of the insights is that, you know, you should pay attention to your advantage. What is your advantage in life? And there's 7 billion people on the planet. Essentially, these are all your competitors. And what is your advantage over these people you know, in life? And so if that matches up with medicine, that's great. That's another thing saying, you know, this is the right path for you. You know, if you have a mentor that's like, you really respect and you see what they're doing and you really want to do that, that's great. But that must match up with your advantage. If it doesn't match up with your advantage, then maybe you should be looking for something else. Okay, so let's go over this tool. This, this tool is pretty neat and I, I did not find this, you know, somebody, this is actually a branch of mathematics, if you can believe that. It's called uh, decision theory, okay? And this is, decision theory is a branch of mathematics. Um, I did not take this class. I think it's actually a, like a physics class. I did not take this, but somebody taught me this. It's really cool. So basically this is, the, the tool is called regret minimization. I hope I spelled that right. And essentially, it's exactly what it says. It's like, it says, what are you going to regret the least in three to five to 10 to 20 years, okay? And so that's what you need to keep in mind when you're making this decision. If, if and it's, it's, very, it's very simple, right? So option one is you go to med school. Or let's just say you go on the path to getting to med school or to path being a doctor. So if you're in high school or if you're in college, you're going to chase after this, okay? And the option two is to not go, okay? This is simple. We, we don't have to, you don't have to say anything else. If you have another career path in mind, you can put this in there. Not go to med school. So then you choose a time frame, three. So med school is a little bit more because uh, you know, these guys, usually when you read this, you say two, two to three years, but for med school, it's really like, um, you know, when, you, when you're a doctor, it's, it's 10 years. So you, you, maybe we could say like five to 10 years, okay, from now. And in five to 10 years now, what happens is that, this is where it's kind of 
a little bit funky, but you say, if I chase med school, okay, and it doesn't work out, right? So no go, right? I go, I try and, I try and get into med school, so let's say for three years and I, and I don't get in or five years and I don't get in or I go to med school and I can't get into residency or something like that. Okay, so if I, and, and then you have to stop that path. So no go on that, right? How much do you regret that on a scale of one to 10? Scale one to 10. And so if you really, really regret trying to go to med school, then that's, a, that's, a, that's an eight or so. What if you don't go to med school? What if you decide I'm not going and you choose something else, you become an engineer. And when you become an engineer in three to five years, you go, wow, this really sucks. I am not gonna be an engineer anymore. I'm gonna change into something else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to school. I'm gonna get a different job. I'm gonna freaking mow lawns. I don't know what. If you regret not going to med school, not very much, you're like, uh, well, I'm an engineer and it didn't work out. I mow lawns and I'm pretty happy. And God, thank God I didn't go to med school. That's a three. So which choice do you take? You should take that route because you didn't regret it as much. Now, if you switch these and this is an eight, you in five to, to whatever years, you're like, God damn it. I should have went to med school. You go to med school and you, you can't get in or whatever happens. And you're like, you know what? Hey, I tried, I gave, I gave them my all, I tried, I didn't, it didn't work out for me. I don't regret not trying. That's a three. You don't go to med school, you uh, become an engineer. It does not work out. That's the trick about this um, tool. It doesn't work out. Then you go, um, shit, I should have went to med school. I regret it really bad. That's the, that's the catch. So that's the tool. I hope that helps you guys make the decision whether to go or not. You ask old people, <laughs> what, 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 what would they do different? They would try more stuff. They, they would not do things. They would just, they would go after stuff more. That's what they regret. And that's at the end of the day, you know, that's what's gonna hurt. That's what's gonna hurt you in the long run. When you're 40, I'm 43, when you're 40, you're, you're like, oh, God damn, I should have done X, you know? I think, I think it's really helpful. I, I make decisions, a lot of decisions like this, um, and it really, really helps a lot. And then you can always be satisfied that you didn't do one way and your regret is minimized and it's not that bad. Uh, you went the other way, it didn't work out, but if you didn't do that, you know, you couldn't live with yourself because you, you just, it would just be eating you alive. So, the regret minimization tool is awesome. Hey, I hope you guys like these videos. If you do, it'd be sweet if you subscribe to my channel, maybe like the video, share it with a friend, that'd be great too. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.